morning, YouTube. Heading down the road with the 326. We are going to be bailing some straw today. I usually try to bail about 800 bales a year. However, last year, the farm I usually get my straw from didn't plant any wheat. And I got lined up with another farmer and he backed out on me. So I lost my, my best customer. Uh, they found somebody else to buy straw from. That's how it goes. That's why you you uh, you can't disrupt that flow because you know they find somebody else. They're not going to just up and leave that person that came to their rescue. So uh, so this year I'm only going to do about 400 bales. Uh, I got a few people picking up some little a little bit out of the field, and then we're going to haul it all ourselves, put it in a loft. But uh, he just called, said he's he's starting. To cut right now at the field we're gonna get so I'm heading down the road here and we're gonna see how this bale does in some straw. Let's go. I'm gonna oil the chains here. I've been bailing for about 20 minutes since I got back with the with the truck and trailer. And we have 238 on the counter. That's gonna be about 233, 232, so just say 230. There was 80 on there when I got back. So that's about 150 that I bailed in 20 minutes. So Multiply that by three, that's about how many bales an hour I can kick out if I'm just bailing without stopping and checking and jacking with stuff. Uh, and these wind rows aren't the biggest. They're about right, really. I'm not having to push the baler. Uh, the wheat's really not the best. You know, the wheat was okay, but it does have a little bit of weeds and stuff in it, which is why you kind of cut it high to cut over those, try to keep the straw as clean as we can.
Okay. Well done. Mr. Welsh from Welsh Farms. We're going to stake four more bales right down here at the edge of the field on. That load will be done. It'll be just shy of 200 bales, about 198 or 99 on there. Then we got another trailer here we're going to load up. Probably be a little bit more than 200 on it, and we'll be done. it built nearly 600 bales of straw sold 70 out of the field uh, some of that went to the farmer whose uh, wheat this is and I'm getting the rest I just buy it straight out of the combine and then I bale it and then the farmer pays me custom rate to bale a little bit for him so it works out for everybody we're heading home we got two trailers loaded and uh, Supposed to be raining here in about you know, the next hour or two, so we're gonna put one in the barn and the other one taken up to put in the loft, and we're gonna call it quits for the night. Monday, Monday morning, uh, we didn't actually get to put any of the straw in the barn because rain was moving in. It actually rained the night, uh, Saturday night after we got done bailing, and, and I was there were scattered showers all over the place, so we put one trailer in the barn covered one with the tarp uh, you actually have to go down the road a little ways and I didn't want to get going down the road and get caught by a storm or something so this morning is kind of clear it's supposed to have a better chance of rain here late morning into around noon time so we're gonna get this up to the barn try to get one load in the one that's in the barn I'm leaving for now the one that's under the one that's under tarp is the one we're gonna take up and we'll throw it in the loft so to the road. This loft is nice and low, so we can throw most of it in without using an elevator. We do have an elevator up there if we need to use it though. Uh, let's get it put in the loft. Cement the loft here, pretty tall. Put new siding on and close in this opening here. But we're gonna be stacking right over here, kind of fill up this side, kind of out to the middle. And we'll leave this over here. I got some stuff over here, but if I need to put some hay, I'll put it over here. So I'll stack this and this side with straw. That's it guys, it's the one we're looking for, empty trailer, there's what one trailer looks like stacked in here, I just threw some up on top, I'm going to climb up there and stack them up a little bit higher. See, it's raining. We didn't get all the straw unloaded. We got most of it. There's about 82 bales left on here. And it started coming down a little bit harder, so we backed it in the barn here. And uh, we let it let up 
wait for it to let up a little bit and hopefully we'll get back at it get this finished up won't take too long to do really so stick around we got the straw unloaded ended up with 198 bales on each trailer so that's total 396 in the loft plus what i sold out of the field and some odds and end pieces stuff that i have here at the house and everything so uh overall it was a success i just want to say thank you guys um uh, i will keep getting content out you guys let me know give me some feedback if you like what you're seeing or if you have ideas for uh topics for videos or uh you got any questions on anything I'm more than happy to help thanks for tuning in Franklin County Forge out.